Hello friends, today I will discuss about a very important clinical question of head and neck and that question is very easy to understand and we will correlate this part of head and neck with the our knowledge of thoracic diaphragm. So let us see what is the correlation between these two things. Now the question is that division of external jugular vein, division of external jugular vein in the supraclavicular space may consequent death. Why? So first we will see the different parts of this question. This is a very commonly asked question in your exam that the patient is having injury in the supraclavicular space and in this space there is an injury of a structure named is external jugular vein. So suppose this is your side of the neck. Now in this side of the neck if I will get injury here. Now this is the point where the injury occurs in the supraclavicular region and when you will find you will find that at this point you are able to find out injury in the external jugular vein. Now if you will not attend this patient within time that patient may die and question is why. So let us see the detailed anatomy. Now when you will remove this skin if I will do the dissection and if I will remove the skin I have to first identify the course of external jugular vein. So you can see that external jugular vein is here and you can find out the external jugular vein is very prominent in the muscular people and this external jugular vein actually crosses the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Now after crossing the sternocleidomastoid muscle because it is a superficial subcutaneous vein it has to become deep to drain into the deep veins. So here when I removed the skin I found that the external jugular vein is present and at this point you can see that this vein is piercing the deep fascia of the neck which is known as investing layer. So after this point you will find that in this portion the vein is going deep. Now when the injury occurred the injury is at this site and because of the injury at this site you are having the difference that now the person is having the chances of the death. So why? So you have to first understand the venous drainage. So the blood of your external jugular vein is draining deeply into the subclavian vein after piercing the deep fascia. You know that subclavian vein opens into the brachiocephalic vein. Brachiocephalic vein of both sides form the superior vena cava and ultimately the blood will enter into the right side of the heart. So here in this image also you can appreciate that this is your vein which is external jugular at this point it is piercing the deep fascia become the deep vein and this is your vein where you have the subclavian and this subclavian vein is further join the brachiocephalic vein. So now what will happen the explanation is that normally when a vein is cut and it bleed the thin wall of the vein will collapse like a balloon. So this is the first thing that the wall of the veins collapsed like a balloon once we make a cut. But here what is the problem? This vein is not collapsed like a balloon. Why? However the external jugular vein is different as the external jugular vein pierces the deep fascia which is the most important key word of this explanation that the point where it pierces the deep fascia the margins of the vein get adherent to the fascia. So this is what you have to understand that this margin of the vein is adherent to this deep fascia and because of this adherence what will happen it prevent the collapse which has to be there. So if the vein get cut the cut ends of the vein are prevented from retraction. So what will happen that because the margins of the vein are now fixed with the surrounding fascia so that fixation prevents the collapse of the vein and the closure is not possible because of the firm attachment of the venous wall and the fascia and because now the lumen of the your vein remain open so what will happen that air is sucked inside. So whenever the person will having the inspiration, inspiration is because of the negative thoracic pressure 
and you know that whenever the negative thoracic pressure is there inside the chest cavity everything will sucked inside the cavity like air like blood that's why you are having the venous return higher in case of the inspiration so air is sucked into the jugular vein due to the negative intrathoracic pressure with each breath so one when that patient is breathing the inspiration is responsible for the air to go inside the uh, your venous system through this open external jugular vein which should not be there and this is what is the reason that this air will enter the right side of your heart and this will lead to the a uh, failure of the heart and that is the cause of the death of the patient so this is what is your answer that there is ultimately air embolism occurs and person die so to prevent this what the clinician should do the only answer is that if you are having such patient which are having the injury of external jugular vein with immediate effect you also make a cut on the surrounding deep fascia now when you will make a cut on the surrounding deep fascia you actually detach the attachment of the vein with the deep fascia so now the vein can collapse and the pressure of the uh, and the air entry can be avoided because you may ask this question that why the air enters through this vein the only answer is that when you are having the negative intrathoracic pressure it is not only uh, 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 there is a entry of the air or the thoracic cavity not only sucked in the air but uh, it also sucked the blood which is present like it is increasing the inferior vena cava venous return and in the same way it will increase the venous return from the different veins which are opening into the chest cavity so because now there is a opening so the blood is not there air will start to sucked inside with each inspiration due to the negative pressure so how to avoid this entry of the air the only answer is to cut the deep fascia which is actually responsible to prevent the collapsing or the retraction of the vein now let's see the one more association which will make this concept more clear now suppose if you will see the inferior view of the diaphragm you are having a opening and this is the opening in the diaphragm central tendon or in the aponeurotic part of the diaphragm which is known as vena cava opening and through this vena cava opening you can see that inferior vena cava is going and it will enter into the right atria now what will happen that at this point the wall of this central tendon of the diaphragm merge with the outer wall of your inferior vena cava so whenever the inspiration is there the diaphragm will go down the down diaphragm contracts so the contraction of the diaphragm will bring the diaphragm down and when the diaphragm is going down it will provide is stretching or traction on this central tendon and because of the traction or because of the stretching the lumen of inferior vena cava will also increase in size because the outer wall of the inferior vena cava adherent with this aponeurosis of central tendon so what will happen that when you are doing the inspiration the diaphragm is going down the muscles are contracting and this aponeurotic stretching is giving the effect on the lumen of your inferior vena cava that lumen will also increase but at the same time the pressure in the thorax is negative because you are doing inspiration so inspiration creates the negative pressure and the air is sucked inside by your respiratory system and at the same time because of the negative pressure here in the chest cavity the venous return also increase because if you are having the negative pressure in the chest it will uh, attract each and everything either it is air it is it is a blood or in case of the flyel chest you are having the same concept that why flyel chest occurs because in the inspiration again there is a negative pressure so that fragment of the body wall sucked inside so you have this concept in mind that if i will cut the vein which is having the opening due to the lack of the collapse or if i am having the inferior vena cava which is having the stretching and the lumen is increasing why the blood or air sucked inside the chest cavity the only answer is negative intrathoracic pressure so i hope now you are able to understand that if a person is having a cut 
in the supraclavicular line and if supraclavicular fossa if there is injury of your external jugular vein why he may die so this is all for today's class thank you